All right, so we pull Rinya Sun, which this is a matchup that I'm somewhat prepared for. Um, I definitely like in Sin Executor. Regirock, uh, and we go Dawn again. So like same same few Pokemon. There's only like a, a one matchup I think we don't really bring Regirock because Regirock does well into a lot of things. I would say that like the matchup where we like straight up just don't want Regirock uh, would probably be like, or maybe like not bring Regirock, but like Dynamax something else. I think Calyrex Ice plus, um, Calyrex Ice plus uh, some like just Trick Room Abuser. I think it was like Cali Palkia was where like Regirock kind of struggled. So usually, um, usually what I would do is like just lead off like Charizard in that one and try to get some early KOs and then I can like take advantage of Regirock. Alright, uh, I call that Trick Room. I call that Free Trick Room. Also, I didn't pay attention to Frisk. Oh wait, Frisk hasn't activated yet. Marcos, pay attention to the ability you gave this stupid Pokemon. Light Clay? Rusted Sword- What? Rusted Sword Zacian? <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. All right, uh, I'm scared of like Taunt Grimmsnarl. And I think they're gonna protect the Zacian anyways. So I'm gonna Trick Room here. They should protect Zacian. Yep. Wow, that that was damage. Uh, one would imagine they just went for screens there. Uh, let's go ahead and Parting Shot in the Zacian and go for a Sleep Powder. Actually, dude, if I Parting Shot the Zacian, I, I don't even like have to do it. I can go for Sleep Powder onto this guy. I think the Sleep Powder on the Grimstar is so much more valuable. Oh, especially since he went for Light Screen here, dude. He shouldn't Behemoth Blade my, my Incinera either. I should be taking like a Sacred Sword. Oh, this is going to be so huge. We prevented screens already. We've already prevented screens. Dwayne is about to go insane. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. I'm going to send out Regirock. <laughs> I'm going to say something that you guys might find just... I think the only way to describe it is sacrilegious. It's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour. It's about Bonnie, it's about Chico, we stay hungry, we eat pizza. <laughs> That's like a one-way ticket to hell. If you say that out loud, it's like Bloody Mary, you go to hell. <laughs> okay, um, I can actually curse here because I naturally tank his Asian's hit. Uh, especially since at, it's, a, it's at minus two. Or minus, yeah, minus one. So I can go for the Sleep Powder and risk this play. Banned. Banned from Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was really bad. <laughs> you silly goose. You've fallen for it. Oh no, the Grim Snarl's fast asleep. Tell me, sir, do you have any switch-ins to this move? Do you have a moment to speak about Max Quake? If he goes Gastrodon, I'm going to be really upset. I cannot lie. But even then, Gastrodon doesn't like this. Um, I really should have targeted the Grimmsnarl, but I'm scared of crits. I want to subscribe only to unsubscribe because of how bad that was. <laughs> I probably should have targeted the, 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 the Regirock first, if we're being real. That was a little bit of a misplay, in my opinion. But I am very scared of Zacian on this team. I'm less scared of, of Grimmsnarl, but I don't like the screens. However, I have made up for it due to the fact it went for that curse. All right, nice. Yeah, it KOs at plus one, so like I don't really need the weakness policy proc, but it's good to go for it now. 
Yeah, Regirox is, is a lot shorter than you expect it to be. When you see the size of Regigigas, you're like, huh, I thought Regirock would be more comparable. Reginald Rockford is not really enjoying his height. He reminds me of that... What's that one streamer? Um, who's that League of Legends streamer that's, like, known for its... Uh, <laughs> who's, who, he, what is he? He's, he's known for... His, on the channel, he, like, just freak outs. What's his name? Tyler1. Tyler1. Like, Regirock reminds me of Tyler1 for some reason, just because of, like, the shape. The shape of him. Sorry, I'm a huge Ed Sheeran fan. Let me go for the Max Rockfall and the Grim Snarl. Because I think Zard wants to max max guard here. How many turns of Trick Room are there? We still have a turn of Trick Room. Is there any super aggressive play I can make here? Not really. Uh, let's just try to Sleep Powder him in case. Yeah, they should be max guarding here. I agree. He, he just feels like Tyler 1. He feels like Tyler 1. Hey, there we go. I wonder if it lives. Nope. Okay, let's take bets. Let's take bets. Do I lose my, my Reggie Rock this game, or do I just win? Do I get to keep the rock? Because I, I have a feeling we just get to keep the rock. Oh, I see you've noticed the Appleton in the background. Oh no, he's got solar power. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Max Rockfall. The Char. There's no way this Charizard takes like a Max Rockfall with any kind of item. Yeah, we're already doing much better with the Reggie Rock today. We got a little bit unlucky in the first game. Um, I forget what happened, but yeah, now we're doing better. After three hours of in-game ladder, I learned that I suck at using rentals. Dude, welcome to the club. Please eat. Okay, no, we're eating literally everything. We're eating literally everything. Check this out. There's no chance this 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 precipice blades KOs. Oh, he fire punched? Did he think that was gonna KO? Did he think that was gonna KO? It wasn't gonna KO. Go ahead and eat your berry. Eat your silly berry, you silly dragon. Eat your silly berry. Goodbye. It's about mechs. It's about power. We was it? What's 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 another dumb one? Uh. It's about max. It's about power. We max rockfall. We don't shower. There we go. That's that's a true gamer line. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we probably just win. Go ahead, silly man. Click your silly move. Yeah, this was a max... This, this was a max value Dynamax game. Three max moves, three KOs. Exactly. I'd send an executor. I don't really need it. I just spam... Look how short Regirock is. <laughs> Dude, this is 5'11 and 6 foot. Alright, we're going to take 20%. That was pretty close, yeah. I would say that's about 20%. D 
Decent, decent. I'm gonna curse and fake out. Dude, this, this 200 defense Pokemon's a little busted at times. Only at times, though. Only at times. There we go. Okay, I was like, there's no way to keep playing after that. Nuzlocke? And I would appreciate if you guys stuck around for that. It's interactive. Um, you can use channel points to name the Pokemon. I am going to increase the price of that, though, because last time it was pretty cheap and the line got very long. <gasps> it's Aaron! It's Aaron! Hi, Aaron. Dude, every time I match up with Aaron, I get annihilated. But I, you know, this is going to be on a video, probably. You know, maybe. Maybe he's just testing a team. But how do I deal with this? Um, I don't know if I like Incineroar on the lead. However, it's really not that bad of an option. If I lead off Regirock as well. I think I do want to do something like... I need this Trick Room. I really need the TR. I don't think he's going to lead Thundee. I think Regirock's too scary for him to want to do that. Let's just go with standard. Let's go with the usual. Let's go with the usual. I actually met Aaron for the first time in person um, at Milwaukee. That was fun. Yeah, I mean, Regirock is super, super, super good in this game if I can avoid a burn from Willow or from Willow Wisp on Sableye. And um, obviously, I want to avoid uh, Venusaur as, as much as possible, which is why I need this Trick Room immediately. If I can get the Trick Room off immediately, I'm going to be in a good spot. Sableye Lando. I mean, I at the very least get a parting shot in a trick room. Also, it's not guaranteed they have fake out on the Sableye. That's like not a guarantee. That's not a given. What I could even do. Let's see. Focus Sash. If it's Sash Sableye, I'm pretty sure this is the Sunny Day variant. I'm fairly certain this is like the Sunny Day Quash variant. Ooh, I'm really scared of this. I think I have to do this. If I got the minus one, I'd feel comfortable going for the parting shot on Lando. But I think I just have to attempt this. Like parting shot, no trick room is what I wanted to do, but I have a feeling I have to just trick room. I wanted to go hard Regirock, get my... Like, take nothing from that and do whatever, but I kind of have to just try this. I, I, If it's Sash Sableye, I think it's going to be a similar set to the one that we saw at NAIC. I'm pretty sure this is the one from NAIC, which oh, my boy made this team. Um, yeah, this is the one from NAIC. I think I'm fine. As long as I don't get foul played, I'm good. I also haven't showcased this team yet, so he doesn't know I'm Sash. Max Airstream. Let's see if he doubles. I'd imagine he might double. Because this thing does have foul play. Parting shot. I'm going to get in the rock. Whenever I see NAIC, I read someone misspelling nice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you could read it that way. I guess you could read it that way. I think I might be able to curse here. I might if I don't get off trick room, I at least curse. Yep. That's fine. If 
Okay, this Incineroar is going to be... Or this this Landers is going to be at minus two. I, I really want to curse, but I'm scared that... I forgot... I've already forgot what this team has. I can't lie. I can't lie. I've already forgotten what this team has. You know what? Let's do this. I'm just going to go for it. I forgot if it has Will-O-Wisp. It probably does. It does. So this curse is somewhat necessary to make sure I don't end up losing. <laughs> I'm also on a timer now. That's the scary part. That's the really scary part. I am on a timer. Okay. I bet Regirock curses like some old English guy. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go right back into Insin. So if I get a second curse off, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I could like Swords Dance or whatever, but I think if I get the second curse, it's not bad. It's like not unwinnable. It depends how much this Quake does, which I don't think it does too much considering this Lando's at like minus three. I probably just get my policy, but then foul play is going to hurt more. All right, makes sense. Alright, glad I have Protect on my Groudon, because that's going to be very big for this next turn. <laughs> that's going to be very big for this for these next couple of turns. Um, let's get the second curse off. I'm going to have to max now. And I'm assuming he went for that will o -Wisp because most Grout on our AV. So he's probably expecting me to uh, not be able to protect here. I honestly don't even know if Lando stays in. I think I have to make like a super aggressive read and assume the Zacian comes out. But even that's, like, not entirely worth it. Let's just protect and try to get rid of Sableye, but I really doubt we do it. If he Earthquakes here, we definitely get rid of Sableye, but the rest of the match becomes a, a real struggle. You could even Swords Dance if... I forgot if the team has it. Okay, he stays in. So I'm glad I didn't make the Max Quake play. Because I was considering Max Quaking and Presbus Blades, but it wouldn't have been worth it. So, I mean, like, there's a lot on the table. Rock Slide, Fly, whatever. One would imagine he's assuming I'm Weakness Policy, so he doesn't want to Earthquake. But if he does, I'm open for it. Alright. Let's see. Please Earthquake me. That'd be so poggers. Rock slide? Okay. Crit? Maybe we can get a crit? Not quite. However. However. However, however. 
Um, if I swords dance here, am I am I in a really bad spot? That's the question. Because I can swords dance and then like max quake the Sableye. And that's going to just undo his burn. Because it's not like Lando's scary. And then like once Sableye is gone, it's, it's not even like an issue. Why? Makes sense. Let's get the special defense boost. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Wisp could also miss. If, if there's not at least one rock pun per game, I riot. Uh, listen, I'm going to rock Aaron with this team. There we go. Yeah, listen, I had to I had to assume Aaron was going to miss the Will-O-Wisp. That's the issue here. It was suboptimal for me if I, like, didn't assume it. All right, there's Ashin. Little does Aaron know, I naturally tank this hit. Little does Aaron know... This is the freest KO of my life. I max guard, I max quake. Or I protect max quake. That's my play. Okay. I could have swords danced. I could have been crazy. I could have been insane. Alright, Stomping Tantrum should do it if he gives me my, my policy. And that kind of makes me want to Swords Dance again, I'm not going to lie. Because I think the end game is winnable if I SD on the Rusher Ram coming out. Alright, let's Swords Dance again. And I'm going to Stomping Tantrum. And just hope. <laughs> No, do I have to double? I think I have to double attack, otherwise I lose. I lose if I don't double attack. Let's Stomping Tantrum Precipice Blades. Yeah, it's because it's basically neutral because I'm burned. Withdrawing the Landorus, big, big, Reshiram, big. Please go for Regirock, please think you KO. Oh, let's go. This is single target now. This is single target now and I'm not, I, I'm unintimidated. All right, don't miss. Let's go, we got the double hit. I KO the Zacian, and I'm going to KO this Reshiram, and that's game. Moxie would go for a Swords Dance at plus six. You know it. You know I would. The way that we just ate that. That was disrespectfully consumed. However, we're not out of the woodwork yet. We're getting intimidated on our guy. <laughs> so I kind of want to... I, I, I think I just have to, like, rock slide and swords dance. Because I, I should take an earthquake. Maybe I just double rock slide. That's, like, the issue here. Because I could still lose. Because he's going to have to earthquake. Or he can go for his rock slide. But I should eat one. I should eat one.
Listen, this this thing could and oh, if I only swords dance there, I kind of wish I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still eat one, so I still just double rock slide. But imagine if I cursed there. Am I able? I'm listen. It's a Reggie Rocket plus two. It might live. This is going to be a very, very close one. It might live. <laughs> I'm scared. He has to earthquake here. No, I lose. Dang it. Okay. I thought I had air in that time. I thought I did. If I curse there, I think we had a very good chance, though. But I couldn't afford to curse. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we we basically just have to fish for crits. And his play is to fly. Because fly after a burn will KO. Yeah, this is still a very good game. And we miss. Okay. <laughs> Does that do it? I think I just barely live. Yeah. All right. Good game. Yeah, we got close there. We got close there. If I think if I cursed that turn, we probably would have been in range to survive that. Let me do some math. You're pretty solid there. It's good for like beating weather. Or I guess sun in particular. All right. Um. Wow, this team has so much like anti Reggie Rock tech. I can just go Charizard though. Full disclosure though, I'm terrible at playing Charizard teams. I'm like god awful. Um. Let's do this. I call this strategy the backup plan. <laughs> I call this one the backup plan. <laughs> Did you get a chance to get the event gash on? No, I, I missed that one too. I keep forgetting to get these events. I wanted the event Clefairy, and then I, mess I missed that one because I was at the regional. E2 Rotom. Is the backup plan good here? Wide Lens Rotom, okay. Um, what's Porygon 2's base speed? I always forget this one. It's 60, so I am slower under Trick Room. I'm going to do this. We're going to go with plan A. We're going with plan A. And this is off a of blast burn, so it's actually very, very strong. If they set up Trick Room, I'm fine because I brought like the Reggie Rock in the back. All right, no Max. Let's see if he Eerie impulses me or something. That's a one-shot. Nice.
Yep, that's fine. Uh, I got everything I wanted to get done done there. I just wanted to get rid of P2 uh, to make sure they didn't have any trick room options. Um, and now I... My options are pretty open here, actually. If I airstream and swords dance, this could be very good. But that is a very aggressive call. I actually don't even know if they want to go anything but Calyrex here. If they have Eerie Impulse, I'd imagine they also have Will-O-Wisp. Probably, like, Eerie Impulse, Will-O-Wisp, Protect, Thunderbolt. Um, if, or maybe, like, Eerie Impulse, Will-O-Wisp, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt. That makes more sense. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Airstream Swords Dance. Because this still is going to hit like a truck. Chase, how you doing? Alright, it is Will-O-Wisp. That's fine though. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get my plus two here. Thanks again for the rain dance inspiration. Ain't hey, no problem, dude. It's gonna hurt real bad. <laughs> Don't forget to max overgrowth to set up your stun fisk for snap trap. <laughs> Every impulse, that's fine. Basically, what I'm trying to do is set up an endgame where um, there's no chance I lose to uh, just Rotom by itself, which is why we kept the the, the Executor at like full health. Because like I, I have a feeling that friggin' Sash, Sash, Splungo, uh, what is it called? Leaf Storm is going to be very important in this endgame. So I am going to max Airstream again and Swords Dance again. I actually like that. You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, I want to get to a position where it just becomes like... Because they have a Sogalio in the back. There's no chance they didn't bring the Sogalio, right? You know, when they're, when they're, where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's a Will-O-Wisp. Calyrex, there's a Sogalio. Oh, let's go. Okay, there's the Sogalio. Granted, this move will bounce off of him. He still has to take this, like, next few attacks. Oh, he Dynamaxed the Rotom. That's even better. I'm not going to lie. That's even better. Because we're in the sun and this is a Rotom. Like, it's not going to deal that much to Groudon. It's just the residual damage that kind of sucks. Shiny Solgaleo looks so ugly. What do you mean? He's sunburnt. I love him. Fine by me. Honestly, very fine by me. How can you get sunburnt when you aren't the sun? He's not the sun. He is a, a deity representing the sun. You silly goose. Okay. Um... I don't even think I set up Trick Room here. I think I literally just leave Storm P-Blades. And their options are so very limited for that. I could Trick Room. Like, that wouldn't be bad, but it's also not ideal. 
Mm, do I trick room? I think I, I think I do trick room here. No, yeah, I trick room here because even though I'm faster this turn, next turn I can KO Rotom and then I win with my 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 dude. And a lot of Solgaleo don't have protect, so let's see. I still find it funny that the Sun God gets sunburn. I mean, yeah, why not? Alright, don't miss. Don't miss. I kind of need you to not miss right now. There we go. Alright, that should be a win. I don't think they have a way out of this. Max Geyser, please KO my, my Groudon. That'd be awesome. Not quite. That's fine, though. We keep our Sash, which means we have two options to do our funny move. I would imagine I can just Rock Slide and uh, Leaf Storm here. Because we still have our Sash. It's not like the Calyrex KOs us. And even if it does, we get the so we get we get the Regirock in next turn and, and get it back. So my play is always just gonna be Rock Slide, Leaf Storm, or Giga Drain. I forgot. I'm not running Leaf Storm. I have Giga Drain. I'm silly. I remember I had I, I had Leaf Storm originally, and then I switched it for Giga Drain on Showdown because I was really annoyed of my Focus Sash getting broken randomly. Nice. Okay. First time getting to actually see your stream. Never played VGC before. Love your uh, watching your vids. Now I love it. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm I'm glad. My my whole goal with the channel is to get more people into the game that I love playing. So like that's that's my whole deal.